you ain't one of this man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc, etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to Showtime SP. Murder Mook versus New Jersey Twerk has just been announced on URL Homecoming. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is a battle that a, lot, a couple of us had knew about for some time. I heard about it. Uh, I think it's gonna, it should be dope. First and foremost, you know what I'm saying? Uh, finally, URL is releasing some homecoming announcements. Obviously, they moved to the beat of their own drum. Uh, they got the app. The app has been dropping some pretty good battles as of late, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad that uh, URL came out with this announcement for homecoming, you know what I'm saying? So people will start to kind of gauge how that card may go, you know what I'm saying? And give me something to talk about so I ain't gotta keep beating on a dead, never mind. Uh, shout out to Farrah, Farrah Funeral, man. I just. Just, just who she is, man. She's an amazing person. But anyway, move on. Um, Murder Mook versus New Jersey Twerk. I'm strapped in versus Mr. Do Rag. Uh, you, you got one now. See the thing for Mook, like I, I, when I think of Murder Mook, I think of some of the battles that he's had since he's been back in this era. You know what I'm saying? Some of the bigger names and things like that. But I always wanted to see what it would be like if he battled one of the newer younger generation, you know what I'm saying? And now he's doing that with New Jersey Twerk. New Jersey Twerk has been having a bounce back year, you know what I'm saying? Um, he came into this year, I'm sure a lot of people had questions whether he was gonna be taking the game seriously, whether he was gonna be doing what he do. And he's pretty much had a bunch of consistent battles this year. He ain't really been choking much, slipping, none of that shit. Uh, he, battled, he just battled Jazz recently. And, you know, he, he's on his run, on his comeback campaign. Murder Mook, for him to be battling against Twerk is dope. I mean, I, I'm going to watch the battle, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell you who I think is going to win and all of that. But uh, I, I kept hearing Briz, 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 Briz. It's like I've been hearing Briz's name all year long for Murder Mook, and this battle still has not happened yet, and it's to a point that, listen, for me, that ship already sailed. I ain't even tripping. If I don't see Briz versus Murder Mook, I'm not tripping, you know what I'm saying? Uh... I already said that if Briz is going to come back, he should just come back. He's going to face whoever, you know what I'm saying? Go face a Gigi Gotti, uh, easy to block captain, you know what I'm saying? Go face them. You're going to see your round. They're going to give you that whole first round about everything that you've been going for, and you're going to be right back to battling. Nothing lasts forever, you know what I'm saying? So I would like to see him again. But uh, for Murder Moot, it's in New York, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Murder Moot, whenever he's in New York, you know it's going to be – all the old heads out, all the do-rags out, all the Timberlands out. It's going to be North Faces out. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of chopped cheese. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of chopped cheese. It's going to be some thermal jackets out there. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of people out there uh, wanting to see Battle Rap back in New York. I know a lot of people have been wanting to see Battle Rap back in New York for quite some time um, on big stages. You know, um, when the pandemic kind of ended... A lot of the big stages and venues people stopped dealing with because, well, like I said, I feel like it's a couple things that attributed. New York in general is just expensive, you know what I'm saying? Like, the best thing I did as a youth was when I got to become grown as a grown man was move out of New York. There, everything is expensive. The infrastructure, the, the apartments, the everything, hotels, everything in New York that you can think of is going to cost more. And that's just, it's just because it's a big city. So even when people try to book venues, You'll probably get a venue price. Let's say a venue cost ten thousand in South Carolina or North Carolina, whatever the case may be, or Virginia or Florida. That same ten thousand dollar venue is gonna be like fifty thousand in New York, forty-five thousand just for the day. And then you know what I'm saying? I think the homecoming is on Sunday, so that even puts it even further. Because most events happen on Saturdays. I'm telling you, these venues are expensive as hell. But for URL. I do think that it's imperative for them to have a card homecoming to be a success. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to even act oblivious. You know what I'm saying? I speak to people from over there. I, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no issue. They feel the same. They know that y'all haven't have been having the best year this year. You know? But their thing is this, and I do agree in some aspects. They've been doing it for 20 years. Not 20, but, you know, 10, 15 years, however many years. They, oh, 10 years. Over 10 years. And they've been delivering in most of these years. And this year is an anomaly. But... I do think for the sake of battle rap, for the sake of what they have going on, a good ending of the year would be paramount. Because there's a lot of events going down in December. I'm going to repeat this again. 
There are a lot of events going down in December. You're going to definitely want to pick and choose and make sure you get the right events and know who you're going to be dealing with. Make sure you got the right leagues. Make sure that everybody's going to be where they're going to be. Even with some of these joints, like not, and this has nothing to do with Euro. You know, Euro has a great track record. They always have their, their people where they need to be. You know what I'm saying? It is, it, so that's not them. But what I am saying is this. There's going to be at least three or four major cards going down all in the same time frame, week for week for week. There may be a card damn near every week except for, uh, let me see what day of the year uh, Christmas falls on, you know what I'm saying? Because I've literally heard bare minimum, okay, so yeah, the, tw the Christmas falls on a Monday. So yeah, it may be one on the 23rd too. I'm definitely sure there's going to be at least two, of every weekend in December may be a Battle Rap League event. So it's just, uh, you know, Christmas shopping, it's going to be a lot, a lot going on. We're going to be ready to, you know, Get to the end zone. So back to Murder Mook. Uh, Murder Mook's been doing a lot of interviews, you know what I'm saying? He's at his joints with, uh, in the barbershop, not the barbershop, in the hair salon with uh, Loaded Lux. They was talking crazy, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to sit here and act oblivious and act like Murder Mook can't win in New York because he does win in New York. He beat Gigi Gotti in New York. So now, that's first and foremost. <laughs> he, did, he did beat Gigi Gotti in New York. Baby, welcome to the party. I'm on the mother of the day. He did that. He died, so I can't take nothing away from him because that was an opponent that many of us said he couldn't beat. So, with that being said, uh, you know, Twerk has been on a run. Uh, Twerk has worked very well received from the times that I do remember. I mean, he hasn't battled in New York, I mean, a whole, whole lot as of late because nobody's battled in New York. But from the times that I do remember him in New York, he definitely did his thing and a lot of people was rocking with his stuff. But if he's got that building rocking, he's going to be a definitely tough opponent to beat. But I just feel like in this year right here, he's been doing pretty good when he had the uh, two on two with the B's and C's. We broke, we broke, they broke, cause the big cop with the bat, bat. Like he, he, he can definitely get into a pocket. But I'll say this, uh, if I gotta look at it just from like a preliminary standpoint, like right now, I will go twerk two one because twerk has delivered like, for, for, we know what Murder Mook's gonna do. I know Murder Mook's rounds. I mean, I don't know his rounds, you know what I'm saying? I know that he's going to bring rounds. I know that he will have a lot of bars, and I know that he's gonna have his shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not even tripping off that. But I just feel like Twerk is such a dynamic. He's able to. The murder, murder, the murder, murder. Like, man, I could just. Oh, my goodness. You could just imagine some of the stuff that he's probably gonna be uh, putting together. You know what I'm saying? So I think that in this one. Who goes first is, is gonna probably mean a lot because they're gonna get a chance to uh, to set the stage, and they're gonna be and I'm sure that uh, you know Murder Moose gonna have his peoples there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm sure his support is gonna be dope, and I'm sure Twerk is gonna have his. But the thing is, like Twerk, he has a way of just putting together words, and this will be definitely lyrically. I definitely see lyrically this is gonna be a dope battle because both MCs can climb into different pockets of flows. And, 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 I, and I, that's what I like. These two ain't no four bar setup guys, you know what I'm saying? Like like Twerk, um, we already know. <laughs> I'm over the body with the hoodie down, you know what I'm saying? And then you got uh, uh, Murder Mook in his battle with uh, Geechee Gotti, the Mark Cuz. You're Mark Cuz, you'll be here today, you won't even be here tomorrow, Cuz. So I know he gonna bring it. And then Mook is the type of person, he's very prideful, you know what I'm saying? He don't wanna, First of all, he don't definitely don't want to look bad at home. That's first and foremost. He do not want to look bad at home. But another part of his pride is he don't want to lose to none of these new niggas. You know what I'm saying? He don't want no new niggas feeling like, oh, I got him. I got Mook. I beat him. He don't. I... If you know like I know, twerk. You better. And, and, and the one thing I do like about this is that I heard about twerk versus Mook at least a month ago. Easily a month. I easily heard about this battle a month ago. So... If they had all of that time, now they in November and they don't battle till next month, I, we can't really, we can't expect nothing else but greatness from both of them, you know what I'm saying? Because they got a lot of fucking time in order to uh, prepare for this one. They got huh, two, three months? Nowadays, that don't happen in battle rap to get no two, three months. So I, I think that both uh, both MCs are going uh, are gonna to have their way. They're going to show off, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I don't expect nothing different, you know what I'm saying? Um, the rest of the card, I've been hearing different battles, but like I said, I don't know. So uh, what I will say is URL has done a good job of keeping this card under wraps because in this day in battle rap, it is very, very tough to keep cards under wraps because we hear about cards quick. Like we even hear, 
I, I've been, it's gotten so good that we've heard about cards when they're picking battlers and the battler don't even have another opponent yet. That's how quick some of the media will find out. But, you know, I don't, um, I try my best, you know what I'm saying? I don't leak cards, you know what I'm saying? Because that's not my thing, because I feel like that promotion and all of that shit is important too. Promotion is important, uh, marketing is important, and all of them things should factor in. But twerk, now you have ascended to the top of battle rap. Once you get a murder mook battle, there is no coming back. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that you use this opportunity well. Uh, I hope that you bring your A game. I hope that we get a strap then. I hope we get the, uh, <laughs> he dead with his eyes open, nigga, look alive. I want all that. I want the whole shebang. You know what I'm saying? Bring your A game because uh, the, the city gonna wanna see that. But murder mook, do rag, white tee. Break them down. Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an old head. I'm officially on Oh, I know people be feeling sometimes like I be hating on Mook, but I just want to explain something real quick. I got into battle rap, like literally watching battle rap and being a fan of battle rap because of Murder Mook, you know what I'm saying? Him versus uh, Sirius Jones and dot of your head, dot of your leg, dot, dot, dot of your leg. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Rex with all the chains on and all of that. And uh, the shotgun shells is red and lime green. Uh, my, my, I'm stiff like smoke, I'm swift like Stroh Mal. Uh, the Murder Mook with versus Loaded Lux. I done sat between more Jet fans than the Meadowlands and all of that. Your watch came back from Switzerland and never been to Michigan, party arty. Repping your crew, stepping the hood. Like I'm just saying, I've been rocking with Murder Mook for a long time. I have high standards. I remember where I knew him from and where, I, I mean, not knew him personally, but what I knew he was doing, baking, frying people, and just being a, a true dog in battle rap. He is that, but I be wanting to see Murder Mook smoke people. So yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a harsh, harsh critic. But I will say this, that uh, in New York, I look, even the, the, the young me wanna see Murder Mook uh, do his thing. Shout out to the subscribers, that notification gang, you already know what it is, man. Murder Mook! Versus New Jersey twerk finally going down. I don't really want to say finally because I don't think that this is a battle that people's like begging for for years and years. But what I will say is that it's here. Let's be clear. <laughs> now that it's here, we can get it in gear. And I like to see that uh, URLs, you know, fight back. Fight back. Y'all know like I know, 2023, you know, ain't been, there, ain't been a URL year for whatever it may be worth. But this is a good opportunity right here. I think this is a very good opportunity to close the year out strong, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm a battle rap fan and I want to be entertained, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I definitely am a fan of being entertained. And you can say what you want. People can say what they want about Murder Mook versus New Jersey Twerk. There's a couple things that's uh, for sure and for certain. They all going to be here. They all going to watch it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all that notification. Gang, I'm so glad. See, we back to battle rap. I went back to back. I had to handle that. I don't like Ghost Riders. I had to handle that. We back to battle rap. I'm leaving it alone. You know, I be, they be hitting people hitting me up. You could do it too much, so I'ma chill. We back to rap. <laughs> if not, we going back to back. Shout out to the gang and my brother Showtime SP. Yiddig. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it.